Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to this timeless reading. So whenever you happen to come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. We're going to check into how are past life lessons affecting and or influencing this current life? So let's see what we get for you. We're going to look at the unfinished lesson. Let's see. Ooh. 17. That would go to eight. Hmm. I feel like you're working on something here. Okay. So this is balance. Is this something being a equal? It's um. It's a a dance to bring things into balance. Someone is like a great, very gracefully trying to bring something to balance. So you're trying to bring something into balance from a previous lifetime. So you're going to be dealing with someone again that maybe something was left not finished here unfinished not finished <laughs> what well it's an unfinished lesson i don't know why i said why i said not finished but let's see what we get here third eye chakra Ooh, something about your intuition hmm knowing something and maybe you left something without finishing it let's see what we get on that these readings are, are they're tough getting started and then they all fall into place Okay, let's see. Because we're trying to tap into something going back in time. We well, you know everything's happening at the same time, but still. <laughs> um, we have here the Fool. Okay. A new beginning, a fresh start, taking a leap of faith. And we have the Queen of Swords. Could be with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in this lifetime. They, you know, they could be anything else in the last lifetime. Nine Cups. Hmm. Balancing something out with someone, you could have been trying to speak your truth on something. Knowing through your third eye, your intuition. So, yeah, so something that you worked on bringing balance into in a past life is you're dealing with now. So whatever your intuition might be telling, especially now, you know, I always tell you guys to grab a pad and a pen and write down the message you're getting from the angels and your guides because it's going to be different from what I give you since it's a general so you're going to get something specific for you. So this was saying your third eye is probably really strong. Your intuition is really strong. And you're still finishing up something with someone from that from a lifetime. That a new beginning. Someone that makes you happy. So something is coming back around in to balance out with you. It's going to make you very happy. And you're going to, um, you're going to know it because you have the third eye here. Wow, okay, so let's see about the past karma. Let's see what we get on that. Ooh. Okay, so this is like someone is, th this card here is supposed to be like you're part of the group, like here's your musical instrument, but you're playing your own song. This is like, um, you're going to be like, you're working together with others, but you have to do your own bit, your own part there. That's what that talks about. So it's like um, harmonizing, balancing, because we got balance again, you know. Um, you have to be in tune with others, but you still have to, like, be on your own. So you're adding your own, your own energy, your own something to something here. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, my gosh. It feels like I'm going through quicksand with these when I start these readings. They're really strange and they all fall into place after a while. So let's see what else we get. Ooh, heartache and loss, but it's in reverse. So there might have been some heartache and loss in a situation, but it feels like you might be turning that around maybe um, in this lifetime. So there's some, it feels like this might be a romantic connection in a past life that you're now probably coming together with this person now and you're working on this this is like trying to flip this card or you know you have flipped this card because it's not harm uh, it's not um it's not heartache and loss it's in reverse so you're working on changing okay cool well, all of a sudden i keep on getting like a little tickle just pops out of nowhere when i'm doing these readings <clears throat> so it's like someone wants to talk someone has to express themselves okay so let's see Either this is you or, the, or your person here. Let's see. What do we got on this? The Page of Wands. Yeah, someone, these communication. 
someone's wanting to express themselves to bring order to chaos, it feels like. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, being when we have the King of Swords. Someone's speaking their truth. Okay. So here, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the King of Swords. I think you both are on the same page. You want to you want to discuss something bring something oh i got a coffee it's like irritant so you know so someone's very irritated about something because that's why i feel i'm feeling irrit irritation by this tickle okay let's see ten of cups this could be something to do with the family is this a family situation or is this it feels like a love situation but maybe the family was involved somehow of course, if the family was involved in the past life, you're not going to know it. I mean, we come back with the same group, but they they come take on different parts. I, it feels like someone, I'm really getting annoyed. I mean, and it's not my energy. If someone feels I'm really annoyed with someone that's interfering. And it's like tickles. Like, I don't know if they can't speak up, but it's like wants to come out anyway. So someone might blurt out something. Oh, very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable feeling. <coughs> okay, sorry about that, but that's part of the reading. It's the way I, I get energies. Okay, so, um, I'm going to, okay, much better. I had a sage. I swear to God, someone's energy was so angry, <clears throat> so bitter. I didn't like it around me. I didn't like it at all, so I had to get rid of it. Oof. Okay, we're going to just move on to this next one here. So this is, um, is repeated relationship patterns. Let's see what that is. <clears throat> Ooh. So here, with this here, this is someone um, very attractive. Uh, magnetic. Um, maybe someone's infatuated here. This is seduction. It's a lure. It's to a person, a situation, a place, um, an invitation to act. It could be someone beckoning someone. Although it could be dangerous and could be, um, and that could add to the desire. If, if that makes sense to you, there's someone that may be very alluring that you're attracted to and you know you should stay away from, but there's like this strong magnetic pull to them. Ooh, I'm telling you, maybe it does. Ugh. The energies are really strong in this reading. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what else we got. So this is a repeated relationship pattern that you meet these people that just have a strong attraction to. And we have mental conflict. Look at that. Puts you in your head. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, this is something that you need to somehow... Um, fixed in this lifetime so it doesn't keep on coming back in every lifetime. Let's see here. Let's see if I can. Dark light looks a little too bright. Let's see. Am I? Okay, you know, let me do this. I have a light over here and I got a piece of cloth. I'm trying to cover it so it doesn't be too bright. Okay, let's see. Ooh, yeah, there's two of cups. This, this is a very, very strong connection that's so alluring, so attractive that you can't seem to pull away from this. Okay. And we have here the Eight of Wands. There's going to be some kind of communication or something happening here, though. See. And justice will be served. Okay, so something is almost like... Uh, they're showing me someone being pulled, but they're like dragging their feet. They're like, oh, I don't want to do this. I can't do this again. Just a sleeper energy. Bringing something together here to fix it, to straighten it out. To almost feels like you have to. It, it's like I gotta face this demon because they, you're so attracted to someone. You know they're bad for you or something like that, and you have to try to um, fight it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the advice is. <laughs> Tough reading. Wow. Okay, so we have here. Okay, this is meditation. Meditate. Go deep within. Um, Help clear your energy. Maybe do a cleansing. Do the sage. <clears throat> Cord cut. 
if someone is really attached to you that strongly cord cut because it feels like they're very strong attached and you're going to get justice you're going to figure this out you're going to balance things out it's weird how we got the balance again right okay meditate something about you coming into balance here okay we have here movement choices decisions okay as you meditate you'll be shown different things that you can move toward <clears throat> wow okay I clear my throat. Someone's got to talk. Okay, we have here Page of Cups. Someone will be coming towards you with an offer here. Could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Could be younger than you. Uh, we have here the Five of Swords. Mm. There's people trying to prevent this from happening. Nine of Pentacles. A very independent energy, though. I feel like someone is breaking free from the holes of... Uh, this could be family. This could be friends. <clears throat> Wow, someone that is trying to control this person here, they're breaking free to do their own thing here. Whether that's you or whether that's someone coming towards you. Wow, okay. Let's see, future um, potential and karma from this, karma that's going to be from this life that you're going to bring forward. Let's see what we get on that. <coughs> oh. Well, this is someone projecting something here. Look, they have a projector. This is someone that maybe could see into the future. This is reflections, though, but it's looking back. Looking back on things, maybe to realize something, how something affected you now. But this is telling you not to dwell on the past. It's like this is a movie projector, right? And someone is looking back on their lifetime, going back, going back, looking, looking, looking. Okay, I hope you fix it so you don't have to keep on going back to that. Well, let's see here. But you don't see coming here. Okay, this feels like a, a time that you can relax. You can enjoy yourself here. This enjoy the moment, you know. The, the me time, the solitude. And, you know, this is important because here we have the past. And here we have, this is what you don't see coming in. But you are going to start enjoying the moment. You're going to let go of that. Ask the... Um, the angels and your guys to help you. Now I feel all like someone's congested. Allergies has came out of nowhere. It's like, okay. Whew. The solar plexus chakra. You have the willpower. You have the power to do whatever you need to do here. You're very strong. It almost feels like you got to stand in your power here. And then we have prosperity begins. Ooh. You don't see this coming, but prosperity is coming in for you. It feels like once you let go of some kind of attachment to the past maybe let's see what else we have here so we have here the eight of pentacles something to do with work and the sun happiness so you're going to have happiness at work and we have here temperance and that is sagittarius card right and then we have here the Ten of Swords. There's an ending to something here that's bringing on new beginnings, new energies. I think you're actually able to put an end to something here. That's been weighing heavy on you. But there's something about dwelling on the past there. Re reflecting, looking back. Um, keep on reviewing. Someone keeps on reviewing something that happened in the past. It's like the projector here is very strong. And this could be have something to do with work or working on something, happiness. We have balance with the temperance, um, being patient with something. Knowing that you're strong, you're, you have the ability to do this. So, wow. Okay, let me see what signs we're dealing with. <clears throat> so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. It feels like you're going to come in the next lifetime. Even though everything's happening at the same time, it's going to bring in um, a better a better balance here. Because that's what we're looking for, balance. And in the end, we have the balance with the temperance card. Okay, and you have prosperity that comes in too. So it seems like when you leave this lifetime, you will be financially um, stable, doing well. Okay, let's see what placement your chart, placement other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Virgo, Capricorn, I hope you can see that. And 
Leo. <clears throat> Libra. Cancer. And Aquarius. Okay, so placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Libra, Cancer, and Aquarius. Okay, guys, so I hope something resonates with you or I hope it helped you understand something some way because a lot of times if we can connect to something in our past and by why we feel sun or we're going through something it does help it uh, gives us a better understanding and some clarity on things that are happening but thank you so much for all your love and support i truly appreciate you guys i love you so much thank you for your likes your shares your subscribes your comments your super thanks i appreciate it all and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you